On today's video, we're going to be talking about how Walmart is all of a sudden now trying to revamp the way that they are importing a lot of their different goods and trying to spread things out because they know something is up. They know something's going on with China and that whole region over there. And this is what they are trying to do. While Walmart sources products from numerous countries around the world, they already do that, but in a small majority. But the major majority of its products, particularly in general, merchandise and apparel and all those different types of categories have historically been imported from China. China is and has been the largest trading partner of the United States for many years and Walmart is the number one dealer in imports. There's no exceptions here. They are the number one importer. The exact percentages can vary over time throughout the years and by the product category, but it has been estimated that prior to the end of 2022, approximately 80% of Walmart's merchandise was made in China, which we all already know. Just walk through the store and pick something up. This very high percentage is primarily due to China's competitive manufacturing advantages. This is why Walmart forced so many companies to move their manufacturing businesses overseas and why we lost so many jobs here over the last few decades because they offer such low labor costs advantage production capabilities because they have these huge manufacturing plants extensive infrastructure in china that is catering to the walmart brand walmart is china if something happened that all of a sudden the goods from China weren't being bought by Walmart in this country and shipped over here. It would tremendously hurt the bottom line of the GDP in China, hands down. There is nothing that they could do if Walmart all of a sudden stopped importing 80% of their goods. It is important to note that Walmart also sources a significant proportion of its products from other countries and is changing its strategy in how much they import from what countries. They are trying to cut back on China. And China is trying to appease Walmart and give them better deals than they can buying the goods from the United States, Mexico, Asia, Europe, in the grocery category, a considerable amount of their products, meat, and other items are also sourced domestically. Some is from right here in America, but most of it is from neighboring countries. And it also depends on the season and the availability here in America. But Walmart sees that there is a problem, and Walmart is trying their best to try and get a grasp of what is going on. They know what is gonna take place. And they're trying to diversify their buying power throughout the world and other countries. While China is trying to give them incentives to make sure that they are still buying the amount of products that they buy from China because they know it's basically a death sentence for the country. The GDP will drop like crazy if all of a sudden Walmart stopped buying from China, which would be a shame, right? Walmart's advanced logistics systems use technology in the transportation and distributing all of these different goods that they import. The company has invested in state-of-the-art warehouses these huge management systems, they're going to robots, they're going to AI. These transportation management systems and data analysts to streamline their operations and to reduce their cost, which means there could be more people without a job. They say, no, 
but time will tell. These top technologies help Walmart track inventory in real time. They can manage their transportation routes. They know exactly when a truck will be rolling in to what warehouse, to what store, if it's coming in on a ship, and this gives them the opportunity to optimize their delivery times. Walmart also operates a vast network of these warehouses across the United States and internationally, to be quite honest. These centers are located in precise locations to reduce the transportation costs and the delivery times to the stores that are in those areas. By centralizing these warehouses, Walmart can effectively manage inventory levels, reduce the need for excess stock in individual stores, and minimize costs associated with inventory storage. Now we all have seen how Walmart can be at certain times because now they're starting to close these stores, they're moving all this product around and everything else. Um, they're on a downward trend in closing stores and they're saying that it's due to bad production, they're not making the money, and theft. That's why they're closing a lot of these stores to break it down for you in a nutshell. One of Walmart's key supply chain strategies is called cross-docking. And this is where the products are unloaded directly from a supplier's truck onto an outbound trucks for delivery to all the different stores. With minimal time spent in storage, we've all seen those huge containers out back. Those shipping containers that they rent and they put them out back of the stores, yeah, those. A key thing to this is, is these relationships that Walmart has with these suppliers. Walmart's relationship with a lot of these different suppliers play a crucial role in the supply chain management. The company is known for its very aggressive, its enormous purchase power to negotiate the lowest price and favorable items with suppliers. They basically go in there and they tell them what they're going to pay because they're buying so much at one time. These companies either take it or leave it. Walmart doesn't care. They'll find somebody else. Walmart also focuses on building long-term partnerships with certain suppliers. The ones that always are the yes people. Those are the ones they go to. Yep, we want 100,000 of these. We're going to pay you 50 cents a piece. Make it happen. And these companies do. You see, they have every one of these different type of suppliers. They got them. Because they buy such a high quantity. And they're going from country to country to country. And they're doing this. If you want to do business with us, this is what you got to do. This is how much we're going to pay and not a penny more. And if you want it, fine. If you don't, they move on to the next country or the next manufacturer or whoever. But they are trying to start global sourcing everything. Walmart wants to source products from a variety of countries aiming to find the best balance between cost, quality, lead times, product availability, and price. The company maintains a global network of suppliers as we speak right now. China does not want Walmart to leave, but Walmart is looking elsewhere to ensure that its company will outlast China.